Hi, Dennis Collins. I'm here with the Car Guy Show. We're going to do a test drive of my 1951 Nash Healey Roadster with a 68 build, and it's a kick in the asphalt. This was the exotic classic race sports car of his day. 1951, if you owned one of these, you were somebody. Most people have never seen one. Don't know what it is. Just gotta do some research and teach them about it. First American sports car. Woo! Great day for a roadster ride. It's a good day to be alive here in the Nash Ely. Gotta love it. It's an honor for me to have this car and to be able to take care of it. You know, the same old thing, we're just caretakers, we're not owners. This car will be passed down over the generations, and I'm just happy that we were able to save it. In my opinion, it's one of the most undervalued early sports cars in the world, and certainly the most undervalued American sports car. Uh, people are becoming more educated about them, but the problem is there's just not enough of them. Uh, they'll get there. I think, you know, in the next 10 years, this is going to be one of the most expensive cars out there. And these arguably should be in the... Woo! What's up? This should be in the... This should be in the... In the... In that same realm. From collectability and price standpoint, they're not yet. Uh, but we'll see what the future holds. I think the astute collector... Uh, this should be a car that should be on their hit list. Or their bucket list. Especially the... And I'm talking the 5051 cars, the alloy bodied panel craft cars. The pendant freighter cars are a beautiful car, but they weren't as lightweight. They weren't as competitive in racing. And you know, they made a, they made a lot of them. They made about 400 of them. The other problem with these cars is most people, they have attempted restorations on them. These restorations are as expensive as doing a Ferrari, a coachwork car of the time. So it's a tremendous amount of time and investment to put into a car that you're going to have to do it for the love of it for now because you're not going to make money on it yet. Maybe in the near future they'll get there.